uh, the Just Bleed Gods shine down upon us. Yeah. Like Barbarena versus Matt Brown. The Just Bleed Gods created Brian Barbarena and Matt Brown. Those are, <laughs> you know how people are like, everyone's created in God's image. These guys were created in the Just Bleed Gods image. Like, yeah. Every time they fight, dude. Have they ever been Have in a boring fight? Have you ever seen Brian Barbarena's name on a card and be like, well, I don't want to watch that one, but I will. Yeah, the first time I saw him against Sage Northcutt. And ever since, I was like, no, that guy's a fucking must watch. <laughs> was it against uh, Vicente Luque? Was that the fight where... Oh, what a banger. Right? Yeah. Dude, he and almost beat one. Vicente Luque and he almost beat... He almost knocked out Leon Edwards. This uh, is a contender for fight of the year, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah right? I think so. It was that yeah. good. Richie Casual, put this on your list of fights to watch that you will not watch. Uh, but Matt Brown, man, the ageless wonder. Dude, still got immortal. it. Immortal. Actually immortal. Still got it, dude. Still got it. Super aggressive. It seemed like he was getting a little gassed, right? Uh, starting the second round, uh, yeah. where Barbarino was able to start taking advantage of uh, uh, slower reaction times from Matt mm-hmm. Brown. But, dude, he's so gay, man. Dude, and, like, the his his ability to get, like, the trips and the takedowns and just, like, sneak them in is, is so good. That's a, That's... Some crafty veteran experience shit right there. Like okay, so this picture right here, this is something where okay, uh, anybody that's just listening, Barbarina throwing a right hook on Matt Brown while he's up against the cage. This is something that Barbarina did a really good job of on the second yeah. round. It's cutting off the cage. He yeah. continued cutting off the cage and cutting off the cage and getting Matt Brown up against the cage. And then that's when he started letting loose a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and the the thing is that again, Matt Brown is so game that he would end up clinching. You know, uh, gaining better position. And then the elbows out of the break. I mean, we saw what the elbow could do. We saw it against uh, Sanchez, right? Yeah. One of the, the craziest Sanchez. elbow knockouts ever. Oh, flatline. And then yeah. we, we saw them again against Barbarina. Yeah. Just so it's dangerous just, out uh, out of the break. Yeah, it's just almost it's almost impossible to knock out Barbarina. I know he's been knocked out before, but it's damn near impossible. The guy's got, I mean, he's got a titanium skull. Um, but yeah. Matt Brown, I think when he lost to Baeza in 2020, he got knocked out. I think a lot of people kind of started writing him off saying maybe the chin isn't there, this and that. He lost to Condit. And then he has a big comeback fight against Diego Lima. And then coming into this one, I was like, fuck, man, Barbarena is so tough. And he's such a brawler. Like, I don't know if Matt Brown's chin can hold up. Dude. I mean, he was there for everything. He took every shot. He, Dude, he really did. And then uh, I'm just taking a look right now. So he lost to Vicente Luque. Again, that was... A, an insane fight yeah and he lost to randy brown uh mm-hmm. stoppage too yeah uh, but then other than that man i'm taking a look at his entire record and i don't see him getting stopped by no it's so hard man yeah wow i mean the dude's a tank he's an absolute tank every time he fights it's like this yeah it never fails yeah can you imagine like ufc calling you be like hey man we got a fight for you and you're like yeah who is it Barbarina, you're like, fuck, man. You're like, God damn it, dude. Yeah, it's like, going to be a long fight. Probably going to yeah. break my nose. <laughs> yeah. you know, I'm going to have a concussion. I'm going to go to the hospital. Like, I guess I'll fight him. I guess him. I'll take it. How about this? This was the last fight on his contract. Oh, really? Yeah, which I'm, I'm sure he was like, yeah, the ball's in their court. If they don't call me, then I'll probably just retire. And I was like, damn. Oh, this dude straight just wants up, to fight huh? the UFC. Straight up. Okay. Yeah. Well, Scott Coker's Got pretty sad right now off to the side. It, yeah. He's hiding behind the tree again. You know that little meme of him licking his like, lips? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he walked away to put later. on another mismatch. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Okay, but an uh, excellent fight. Uh, I mean, yeah, fight of the night. Like you said, fight of the year contender. Um, no. I mean, Give us more Matt Brown. say that Matt Brown. Yeah, how old is Matt Brown right now? He's like 41. 60. He's exactly so he's 41. Uh, and they just had a fight combined 200 strikes. Wow, that's crazy in a three round fight. That's just insane. absolute savages. And not one knockdown, he took everything Barbarina threw at him. Savage. Got respect, street savage. Yeah, we love you, Matt Brown. Did you see what he said though? He wants to sign, he, I think he, he wants to sign like an eight fight contract and fight uh, four more years. I think he wants to retire at 45. The dude's a fucking savage. That's nuts, man. Hey everybody, Romero and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description. 
and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, and don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. It goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.